Hello Divinians, this is Jenny and I will help you to understand the essential procedures in using Google Suite Enterprise for education. We will be covering the basic process of signing up in your Google account and using the Google Classroom. Also, we will be ending this tutorial on some basic netiquette that we must observe when we are connected online. Signing in your Google account. Let us start on how to sign in to your Google account. First, open your web browser and visit www.gmail.com. Next is to type your Gmail username and password. Your Google account will be provided by the ICTC department in the institution upon enrollment. Your username is usually your name with an email domain of at dwc-legaspi.edu. The default password is DWCL student. Upon signing in, you will be prompted to change your password for privacy and security purposes. You may also add a two-step authentication on Manage Your Google Account button to be more secured. Just a friendly reminder, make sure not to forget your password. In case you forgot your password, kindly inform your class advisor to have it reset by the ICTC personnel. And there you have it. You are now logged in to your Google account. Joining to your Google Classroom For this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to join your Google Classroom. Now that you have successfully logged in, go to your upper right side of the Gmail and click this icon. Scroll down and locate this icon, Classroom. You will be directed to another tab, the classroom.google.com. To enroll, click the plus sign and choose Join Class. You will be asked to enter the class code, which will be given by your subject teachers, then click Join. And you are enrolled on your Google Classroom. Now, let us explore the interface. There are three sections of Google Classroom. The stream, the classwork, people. The stream page shows updates and announcements posted by your teachers on your classmates in a chronological order. Consider this as your Facebook news feed, where you can post or comment on their post. The Classwork tab shows all the activities, assignments, quizzes, and lessons materials posted by your teacher. Additionally, you can view your work, Google Meet, Google Calendar, and Class Drive folder. Google Meet is used for real-time or synchronous discussion, just like Zoom or Skype. 
further discussion on this feature will be given later. The Google Calendar updates you on upcoming events such as deadline of your activities and class schedule. The Class Drive folder is a cloud-based file storage and synchronization service of your activities, projects, and lesson materials. On the People section, you can view the teacher and your classmates enrolled in your subject. At this point, you are now familiar with the user interface of Google Classroom. If you still need time, feel free to pause and repeat this tutorial to learn the interface. Using Google Meet In this section of our tutorial, we will be focusing on the use of our Google Meet. This will be our main platform for video communication during real-time or synchronous discussion. To use this application, make sure you are logged in to your institutional email account. To join a meeting, a link of a session will be posted by the teacher on your Google Classroom stream page. Click the link to open a new tab. Take note that you will not automatically enter the session, but rather, you will be directed on a lobby to check your microphone and your camera if it is working. We strongly advise you turn off your microphone so as not to disturb the ongoing session once you join the class. You may also turn off your camera, unless you are instructed by your teacher to have it turned on. Once you enter the session, you will see several buttons below. Toggle button for the camera and microphone and the leave call. On the upper right side of the screen, there is a chat box where you can ask questions to your teacher regarding the topic. Please be reminded not to spam or ask irrelevant questions on the chat box. If you are disconnected on this session, click the rejoin button or click the link again provided by your subject teacher. If your session is finished, you may click the leave button. Make sure that your teacher leaves first before leaving the Google Meet. Basic Netiquette In uploading a picture for your Gmail account, make sure you use a decent and latest picture of your face. Refrain from using cartoon characters and angled shot or selfie pictures. Remember that this is an institutional email account. Wear appropriate clothes when you are having a video conference session with your teacher and your classmates. Do not post any sensitive information to others. Always remain respectful to your teacher and classmates. Avoid taking pictures or screenshots of the session. 
your classmates, nor teacher. These are some of the basic rules and conduct when we are online. Further discussion will be given by our SFO director regarding the rules and guidelines when conducting online class. There you have it! We are done with the Google Suite Enterprise for Education tutorials. Thank you for listening.